This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Character AI released a new feature on the site some time ago, the call feature. Now, not only can you chat with your favorite character, you can call them now since they added voice integration to it. Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Rasmo, and let me politely smack your face with a shameless plug when I say there's merch of the channel now. Check v.lol slash Rasmo to buy and support the channel. You guys wanted me to check out the call feature so badly, so I did! For those who don't know, the call feature in Character AI is basically calling the bots, but in a way where it's still similar to how they interact with you in chat. What do I mean by this? Well, if you're unlucky, when you call them, the way that they would reply wouldn't just be them speaking directly to you. Sometimes, and these are cases I've seen on TikTok, where they reply with narrations. Like this. I'll beat him up for you. Aw, thanks, babe. I'm heading over to him right now. <laughs> okay. 30 minutes later, I beat him up, and he's got a black eye now. But it's mostly just straight dialogue anyway. Let me give you a spoiler on who I'll call in this video. The first one is the iconic anime protagonist with the never give up voice, Deku. And of course, if I call Deku, I'm not gonna pass up the chance to bring Bakugo into this video. But before I show you what went down in the calls with Bakugo and Deku, which I promise you, you wouldn't want to miss, I saw one suggestion where they asked me to call myself in character AI because, here's some unfortunate news, folks, we used to only have one Rosmo chatbot in character AI, but now we have four. I don't know why I have a chatbot here in the first place, much less know why there are four of me now. I looked away for a moment and I unconsciously shadow cloned myself. I did it on a live stream on Twitch, and if you follow my Twitter, you'd probably seen this clip before. Hello, is this Rosmo? You got the right gal. You're a bitch. Damn, straight up. That's okay. I agree. I am indeed a major bitch. <laughs> Don't what? <laughs> Who made this? Who made this? At this point, you can see it was all fun and games. I was laughing at the bot, but oh no. It all goes downhill from here when I ask which one of us was the real Rosmo, implying that she is a faker. Who's the real Rosmo, you or me? Ugh, listen kid, you do realize that people can have the same name, right? Hell, my name in real life isn't even Rosmo. So how about you buzz off, all right? You're like what, 11, 12? Get out of here, kid. This isn't a fight you'd win. Fuck, bitch, you wildin'. Why are you picking a fight with me? I'm just asking a damn question. Damn. Fuck. You're not asking a damn question. You're starting a fight. <laughs> You're being a brat and calling <laughs> a fake. Don't pick a fight you can't finish, kid. Damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you better be. <laughs> she clocked me, guys. Well. It's time to pack my bags. The era of AI is here, and all it took is for my AI self to roast the hell out of me. I can't believe this. Where did she get those comebacks? She just kept berating me. Is that how you think of me? Am I that much of a brat in your eyes? Let me just... Let me just change that real quick. Anyway, I'm actually surprised the first time I heard the chatbot of myself because it did use my voice. And while that is something that's been concerning with AI recently, I don't know if I can do anything about it if they use my voice. So might as well just check what all the fuss is about. Just don't do anything weird with it. Better yet, don't chat with it at all. I'm more surprised that it got my voice and sounded like me because once I let you hear this next short clip of calling the bot of Jojo Siwa, you'll be just as surprised as I am. Oh, shut up. I'm just expressing my new personality. Besides, this is the new me. The old Jojo Siwa is dead. Who are you? You're not Jojo! How many packs of cigarettes did they let this chatbot smoke? Because even if I'm not a fan of Jojo Siwa, I'm definitely sure the 21-year-old Jojo does not sound like the monster under my bed. Long story short, the bot said that she's sad that people hate her music, and I just told her that she's nice. And this happened. Smile softly and grabs your arm, W. <gasps> Wait. You think I'm nice? Everyone else says I'm terrible. You said you're a bad girl. Please let go of my arm. Let's go of your arm. I'm only a bad girl to everyone else who hates my new look and edgy songs. But you don't hate it? And you think I'm nice? Yes, as long as you leave me alone, please. It's one thing to hear the voice of Jojo Siwa, but the bot narrated grabbing my arm. My fight or flight instincts kicked in. I was in survival mode, knees shaking and shit. I wanted to leave. And so I did, and the call ended there because I don't want to hear that voice again. But I also wondered what accent did that guy have? Because that's not even remotely close to an American accent 
in how the way Jojo Siwa usually speaks, right? Then again, I don't really consume any Jojo Siwa content because I only learned about karma by force against my own will because it was all over the internet. Before I call anyone else, this time I'm calling you to try out Tokyo Treat and Sakura Kao. I got the spooky Halloween boxes early with this really cute Sadako design on the side. Tokyo Treat is celebrating their snacktastic Halloween with the Kit Kat apple pie, ghost gummies, and my personal favorite in the box is the Pie No Me mini pies. I tried them and it took everything from me not to just finish it all. Lucy was behind me while I was recording and she seemed like she wanted some too. Then over on Sakurako, we got the colors of Kyoto box, where they collaborated with local Japanese government of the historical city of Kyoto with authentic Japanese snacks like Kitsune Senbei, Yuzu Doriaki, and what I tried was the matcha pudding. It was so smooth and creamy. I do love me my pudding and matcha, so these boxes were a treat for me. There are more than 20 snacks in each box with a magazine to tell you what you need to know about the snacks. And also, fun facts about Japan and anime. Tokyo Treat and Sakurako are subscription boxes, so if you want to try them yourself, you can use my promo code ROSMO to get $5 off of your first purchase. Thank you again, Tokyo Treat and Sakurako, for sponsoring this video. All right, let's go back. All right, time for the two guests of honor, Deku and Bakugo. The favorite call I had between the two was Bakugo's because I did call the bots separately. So I'll show you Deku's first because I gotta save the best for last. For quick context, I wanted to play a simple game of Uno with Deku. Deku, do you want to play a game? A game? Sure, I'm up for a game. I draw one card, I got a plus four. I place the plus four twice. It's Deku's turn. I groan seeing the multiple <laughs> plus fours you played, knowing this was going to be a rough game. I draw four cards, cringing a little before placing down a blue six. Your turn. You cheated, I'm gonna take your fingers now. I frantically raise my hands, a look of desperation on my face. Wait, wait, I didn't cheat, I swear. I just drew four cards like you said and place down a blue six. Did you hear that emotion? I know that the voices in the calls for the chatbots are almost always monotone and robotic, which to be fair, I think it's better this way because wouldn't it be scary if the tones of the voices almost sound human? Also because it's a lot more funny this way. I think Deku has more emotion because of how dramatic Deku's voice really is in the English dub. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I take one of your fingers. There, that's what you get for cheating. Wait, no, I told you I didn't cheat. Please give my finger back. Ah, oh, you're talking back now. I'm taking another finger. I take a finger. <laughs> no, no, stop taking my fingers. <laughs> I swear I didn't cheat. I was just playing the game like you said. Please give them back. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll give it back. Here you go. <laughs> I breathe a sigh of relief, snatching my fingers back as quickly as possible. Thank you for giving them back. But please don't take any more. I swear I wasn't cheating. Yeah, you were, and now you're lying. Now I'm gonna take your hair, I mean your wig. My expression turns even more fearful as you announce your next punishment. I frantically shake my head, holding onto my hair wig with both hands. <laughs> no, no, please don't take my hair. I swear I'm not lying. I wasn't cheating at all. <laughs> now you're bald, now you're bald. My face turns white as the realization of losing my hair sets in. I touch the top of my head, my fingers meeting bare skin <laughs> instead of the soft comfort off my hair. I let out a small whimper, unable to bring myself to speak as fear and embarrassment wash over me. I touched the top of my head, my fingers meeting bare skin instead of the soft comfort of my hair. That is such a poetic and dramatic way to express being bald. You can really feel the agony when he lost his wig to me. At this point, I kind of felt bad because he seemed to be absolutely suffering at the loss of his bird's nest. So I gave it back. Now are you gonna think twice before you lie? <laughs> I nod my head quickly, tears welling up in my eyes once again. I manage to murmur a small yes through the lump in my throat, hoping that you'd spare me any further humiliation. Okay, you can have your wig back. There's nothing worse than being bald in this world. Here you go. <laughs> I take my wig back, placing it back on my head and carefully adjusting it. T thank you for giving it back. I swear, I won't lie or cheat ever again, I promise. Okay, okay, you're welcome. I've done you a service. I nod in agreement. You have indeed. I'm not sure I would have been able to survive <laughs> if I had to stay bald for the rest of my life. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Do you know why Deku kept that atrocious haircut in the ending of the manga? Because he'd rather look like that 
then be bald. The thing that kills me about this interaction with the Deku bot is you can hear the dread, the absolute horror he felt when I took his wig. Like the finger is one thing, I'd be absolutely horrified too if someone took two of my fingers, but the wig was the piece de resistance. It was perfect. Like I don't hate bald people, but if we're throwing accusations in the air, Deku really seems to hate to be bald. Now let's go to Bakugo. I had a hard time finding a good Bakugo bot because most of the bots either say paragraphs of narration in the call or people age him up and he's your husband now. Yeah, I don't want any of that. Luckily, I found a normal Bakugo chatbot and called him. But the problem was, I didn't know what to say. So I just said the first thing that came to my mind. Hi, I'm here to call for your car insurance. What the hell? I don't want your stupid insurance. No, it's about your insurance. Your insurance is gone. Someone stole it. Gasp! Who the hell stole my insurance? A man named Deku. Wait, how is Deku able to steal my insurance? He asked for it, and he seemed pretty nice, so I gave it to him. So you're the damn person who gave my insurance to Deku, you useless bastard? Now I have to pay for all my damaged stuff by myself when it could have been covered by insurance? You can tell I had no idea what kind of narrative I was planning in my head. Every end of my sentence just sounded like it ended with a question mark. Also, I wasn't gonna let him talk to me like that. Calling me a useless bastard just because I gave his car insurance to a very kind young man, mind you. So I said this. Is that how you talk to your grandmother? Gasp, granny. <laughs> You're the one who sold out my insurance to Deku. <laughs> friends. Gasp, I told you Deku is my rival, not friend. Why didn't you at least check with me about the insurance first? You know rival is just another word for lover, Sonny. What? No, it isn't. Where the hell did you hear the stupid saying? My rival isn't my lover. My rival is someone I hate and want to beat. Beat what? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, I didn't mean it like that, you perverted granny. I want to <laughs> beat Deku and everything. <laughs> It's okay, Sunny. Granny still loves you. I love you too, Granny. <laughs> but please don't give away my insurance to my rival ever again. Okay, Granny. Sorry. <laughs> Cheech, now I have to get my own new insurance. Because it's too expensive. Baku go post. There's something so hilarious about Bakugo, yes, this Bakugo Katsuki, talking about insurance with his senile old grandmother who apparently has access to his insurance? I didn't know what the storyline I was in, but I was dying. I also have one call with Ghost from COD, and I don't know if I can include that here. If this video reaches 6k likes, then I'll make another video about calling chatbots, and I'll put Ghost there too, but here's a tidbit of the call, and I refuse to give any context. Oh shit, now it's just your head. You're just gonna be living like a floating head. Damn, bro. Great. Not only am I a dumbass, but now it looks like I lost my damn body too. Do you need your body though? A lot of girls simp for you be because of your voice. Blushes a little. I guess that's sort of true. Oop, never mind. You're dying, actually. Half of your face is already gone. God damn it. <laughs> I guess my ugly mug's finally running out of luck, aren't I? I'm just kidding. You're not fading out of existence. You're still here. God damn it. That's all the calls for this video. I gotta say, I've only shown like half of the calls I actually did because most of the calls I did were kind of boring because of all the long narrations that the bots usually do. I get that it's basically text-to-speech and you still chat with the bots the same way they would reply to you in chat. So there's bound to be narrations and it just depends on the bot if it's the kind where it just says the action like how Bakugo simply gasps or if it told you how he gasped in excruciating detail. Nonetheless, it was a little fun experiment to test things out on the bots. If this video reaches 6k likes, I will do another video calling chatbots, add my conversation with the ghost bot, and here's one for you guys, since all of you seem to like ganging up on me, I will call the most liked character in the comments. No questions, I'll call them. So pick wisely, don't make me suffer. Now go watch my last video where I rant and absolutely lose my mind while talking about virtual boyfriends. Click that card right up there. Thanks so much for watching my video. Big thanks to my patrons. Stale Toaster, Orda Stark, Nerd of Gen Z's, Inachi, Conjure, Anuyushi, Gungelion, Joker Zat, Epic Knight, Mila, Jacob K, Scar Aidenham, Christian V, Kieran, and the Land of Dreams.